Hey what's up guys welcome back MK Captain is here today in this video we're talking about the upcoming Apple iPhone 12 and the Samsung so Apple iPhone 12 might be the roast thing that ever happened to Samsung of all the revelers in tech Apple and Samsung relationship is easily one of the most interesting ones Apple revelation the mobile industry with the iPhone and every other phone maker had a copy the new smartphone concept or die trying something else Samsung chose to rip off the original iPhone design and user interface and it built a massive mobile empire in the process. In contrast, many other vanished the list include Nokia Palm, Blackberry, Microsoft and what was left of Nokia after it was acquired by Microsoft. Samsung and Apple settled all their patient lawsuits after a year of bickering and both sides ended up winning. Something may have had to pay penalties to Apple, but those sums were inconsequential to Samsung's bottom line. Copying the iPhone for so many years was so lucrative for the company that the result of those legal battles did not really matter. Something has found its own identity since then, although it is still the iPhone that dictates trends in the industry but that just one side of the apple samsung relationship because apple is also a huge client when it comes to the iphone parts as much as samsung mobile might want to beat the iphone other samsung divisions there on iphone sales since the supply some of the critical parts the apple can source elsewhere that's about to change with the next iphone as samsung is reportedly about to lose a large chunk of an apple contract a report from the south korea why all my drives claims that a chinese display vendors will provide as many as 45 million panel unit in 2021 that will be a huge loss for samsung which has been apple main provider of oled panels since the iphone x launched in 2017 the OLED screen that goes into the premium iPhone, iPhone 11 Pro, Max, iPhone XS and Max and the iPhone X has been very lucrative for Samsung as the screen is one of the most expensive components in these devices. Samsung OLED screen teach for mobile devices is the same as what used in Galaxy S and Note flagship and Samsung screen receiving glowing reviews each year. Whatever they for power the latest iPhone or Galaxy flagship Samsung contract with Apple was so passive that it even forced the iPhone maker to pay Samsung penalties for not meeting minimum quads. Apple meanwhile has tried to diversify its OLED supply in the previous year with LG being the first supplier rumored to have joined Apple's OLED supply chain. BOE appeared in early report discussing Apple iPhone OLED needs but the Chinese display maker will only start delivering parts this year from upcoming iPhone 12. That's what this new report says, revealing that BOE share might be bigger than LEG, but still similar than the Samsung BOE share will supposedly grow significantly in 2021 when it's expected to reach 45 million units. Samsung will still manufacture a large number of screens for Apple, but its share will drop to 150 million from an estimated of 230 million. Apple is expected to release several devices with OLED display in this year, which might explain its need for diversifying the pool of parts maker. But it unlikely Apple will ever disclose such supply deals in the future. The company never mentioned it supplier during its event. And it should matter to end user what company manufactured the screen or any other components as long as these parts meet Apple requirement. Teardown of future iPhone will confirm whether BOE has started shipping OLED panels to Apple as soon as the iPhone 12 launch in this year September. So guys, this is the current update about the upcoming iPhone 12 and its LCDs. So hope you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe for more tech videos. Enable the bell icon for latest video notification. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.